Hey guys, I'm back here with another tutorial. This one's going to be on creating a scope masking transition effect. Really easy, not too hard, uh, but it looks pretty good. Anyways, let's get started. If you browse through your frames of your video, you're going to notice that when you scope in, there is a lot of icons within the scope area. What we're going to do next is we're going to remove all those icons so nothing except the scope is showing up but before you do this let's right click on the video go to properties and disable the resample and then you want to go to the first frame that you scope in you want to make a cut you're going to delete the first video clip and then we're going to go to the last frame where you're still scoped in and make another cut so you have two individual video clips Next we go to our video effects and go to cookie cutter and go to the circle center and apply it to the uh, video clip where you're scoped in. So once you apply it, all the little icons will disappear. So next we're going to go to best and full. Again you want to go to the first frame of your video clip where you're still scoped in. So right around here and you're going to save the snapshot to file. Go to desktop and go to save as type jpg. Save it and next what we're going to do is drag the image down on the timeline and since the uh, and since the transition is about one second long uh, we're going to shorten down the image to one second and then we're just going to connect the rest of the video clips along with it. Alright so Next we're going to go to our event pan crop tool of our image and you want to go to your masking tool so enable it and we're just going to mask out one portion of the scope since the scope has four portions we're just going to mask out either one of them so again start out at the middle work away on your outside and just work your way along the curve. Now the more points you create on the curve, the smoother looking it'll be, so you don't have to feather it out. Alright, so it should look something like this. And we're going to create three new video tracks. So insert video track, insert video track, insert video track. And we're just going to duplicate uh, the image we just masked out. So select the image, hold control, and bring it upwards. And this time we're going to be masking out uh, basically either one of the portions right next to the first one you masked out. So again, make sure your, your cursor is on the first keyframe. Right click on the points and delete them. And again, just mask, mask out another portion of the scope. There you go. And repeat the same process until you masked out all the portions of the scope. So I'm just going to speed this up and cut to the next part of the tutorial. All right. So after you masked out all four portions of your scope, we're just going to fade it, the images out or fade it in. So again, go to the top left hand corner of your image until this little icon pops up and click and drag it to the right and do this for about until five frames and you're just going to do it for every single image we have. And if you look at the video preview, I showed you guys earlier on in this tutorial, uh, you're going to notice that uh, you're going to notice that the transition begins with one uh, portion of the scope, and then the rest of the portions are just going to rotate out. So basically, the first image we just masked out is going to be our origin. So we're not going to rotate that, we're just going to rotate the rest of the three images. <laughs> Alright, so the second one is right here, and we're going to rotate it about 90 degrees. So again, go to your uh, event pan crop, make sure the sync cursor is selected, and just select your cursor on the main timeline, go to the end of the fade offset, on here you're going to make a keyframe. Actually, before you open up this, you're going to go to your top keyframe. Make sure you select it. That's going to bring you back to your event pan crop option. And if you select the bottom keyframe, that's going to bring you back to your masking option. 
All right, so with the event pan crop keyframe selected, go forward about five frames, make a new keyframe, then go towards the end, but make sure you leave about two to three frames of space and create another keyframe. All right, so go back to the first keyframe we made and we're gonna go to the angle rotation and we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. So it rotates around this area. Next, we're gonna go to the third video track and do the same process. Make a keyframe here, go back to the first keyframe and this portion is right here. So we should rotate it 180 degrees. So let's preview the effects. And it should look something like this. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. If this helped you, please comment on it, give it a like. And if you have any problems with any part of this tutorial, just post a comment asking me a question and I'll get back to you within a couple of days. So I'll see you guys next time.